Hey guys, so I wanted to make a really quick video on the pros and cons of short hair slash my side shave and undercut. I want to make this really quick because there's actually no air conditioning. <laughs> Sorry, there's no, actually no air conditioning in my house, so it was like really hot. And I want to make this video before it all heats out again. So instead of making this a really explained video, I'm actually going to just list off the pros and cons. And I'm actually going to start with the cons first, and and like start with the bad and with the good. And I have like my little thing here. <laughs> I have a little list of the things. So we start with the cons. Um, con number one will be that the stubble from my side shave tends to stand up after I wake up in the morning and I don't, um, shower, and my hair sticks up easily, like, not just the shave part, but the short hair part, it sticks up in the morning, cause I don't shower in the morning, I shower the night before, and the stubble grows insanely fast, I got it, so the odd shaved, I got, actually got my entire head, like, this is, you know, I got it done on Monday, and it is Thursday today, today's Thursday, <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's already grown out a little bit, so it grows really fast, and then another thing is that if it's windy out, it'll, you'll have a cold head, of course, because it's all of its, like, skin, it's like, when you're not wearing, when you're not wearing clothes, it's, of course, going to be cold, so it's kind of obvious, and then, Okay, since you have short hair, it's kind of, this is really obvious, but since you have little to no hair, you can't really have any hair bands or braids in your hair. I mean, when I, when it grows out longer, I do sometimes cut it up in like a little, like, man bun kind of thing. <laughs> you can't really braid it into like a little bit on there, like, oh, I see a lot of girls do with long hair, so you can't style it like that any much, but you can still use like sprays to like speck it up and stick it up and you can still flip it over and all the other stuff. Um, and then for me, it's hard to dye my hair because I have to avoid the part that I don't want dye, which is usually the side shave and my undercut, so I have to kind of wear it. And since my, I have short hair, I'm not able to put it up with a ponytail, so I have to like push it up with one hand and use the other to dye and then I have to use a mirror so that I need like three hands and it's just really difficult for me to do. I think an easier way to do it will be use like petroleum jelly or like conditioner on it to like avoid it sticking to my hair or something like that. I'm not sure that's what I heard people do. That was all the cons that I listed. There's probably much more and I didn't get to say this but everyone's experience with short hair and everything is different. I'm sorry there's really bad lighting. I'm doing this really quickly. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna start with the pros now. Pros, the number one pro that I really like is that it dries extremely fast. Like when, when I get out of the shower, this 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 dries in like a second because there's like no air there, of course. Um, this takes a little longer, maybe like half an hour. If I have long hair, it usually takes maybe two, three hours, I think, four. And I use less shampoo. I use like the little tiniest amount, like a quarter coin, whatever, on like my fingertips, and I just scrub and I do shampoo this by the way I'm just to get the shampoo my hair. Ow. Okay. <laughs> um less effort in making it look good because when I wake up I don't really have to brush out the tangles because since it's so short it doesn't tangle as easily as long hair would. So I kind of just brush it and then that's that. And less than a sticking up which sometimes happens. Um less shedding. I tend to shed like animal, like a cat, like a dog, just hair goes everywhere, and I find hair in my food, which really gross me out. I don't want, like, even though it's mine, I don't want to eat hair in my food. <laughs> I don't want hair in my food. So that's when, like, you have to, like, put it up out of the way while you're eating, and I that just, I don't really feel like doing that, so kind of just, it's better for me to have short hair so I don't shed everywhere. Less dye used. You, like, I know people who have, who have long hair down to, like, here, and they have used, like, three bottles of hair dye. This barely takes, like, man little manic panic things I have. I can probably do the entire thing in, like, four, my, four times my entire head. Like, first time, because it's a little bit each time. And, like, when I re-dye it, when it's faded, it's probably at four, four to five, maybe five times. I don't really count, so I think that's really beneficial to those that have money to constantly buy dye. And then, 
you feel cooler. Like usually people that have long hair always put their hair up in like a ponytail when it's like hot out so your, your face is all, all, isn't always sweaty. So I like that because my face isn't always sweaty because I don't really have to put it up. I mean, sometimes do because of like my bangs and stuff. Other than that, yeah. It's temperature wise, by the way. <laughs> okay, um, no hair blown in face. I have a big problem with this when I'm on the bus and like the windows open. I, it just goes everywhere back to the emo days. It just goes everywhere all the my face and I hate it and it does happen for like I have hair it's gonna be blown everywhere either way but this is more doable because I don't have to fix it or anything I just do this but with I have long hair I have to like hold it and put it way stuff put in my hair but this video is about hair so I can't um the last thing I really like I think is because I was told I had big ears, like, I, I know I have big ears, so they were like, are you sure you want to get a size shape? I was like, yeah, and like, I can show off my earrings and stuff, so that's a big plus. I don't have any in this year right now, but I get to show off all the earrings in my ear and get more ear piercings and show them off, so I think that's pretty awesome, and that's all the stuff I have. I'm sorry this video is like really fast and rushed, but I want to get something similar to this out to those of you that are thinking of getting a pixie cut, short hair, side shape, undercut, anything like that, and these are all the pros and cons that happened, and my experience with it, and I, but aside from that, I love it to death, and I've had it for a year, not a year, I don't remember when I, no, 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 okay, I've had this in like the beginning of the school year, which is August, and right now it is the end of May, so I've had it for a while, I do tend to change my hairstyles a lot, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a like, thumbs up, put all that other stuff, give me a comment of how your experience was, and give me a comment if you're actually trying to go forward with the cutting hair and all that stuff, or if you love your hair, long hair, and you want to keep it, but yeah, if you enjoyed for watching, hit the subscribe button or whatever, I'm sorry, I'm so bad at this, and okay, I'm good to go, it's really hot in here, bye. <laughs>